What's up, everyone? I uh, got a text this morning saying that uh, my family's throwing a little get together for my uh, sister's birthday. So, shout out to Leah. Happy birthday. See you in a little bit. Um, and I figured teens were going to be heading out there. I brought along some things. We got some jugs. We got some pigeons. We got a couple things over here. Excuse the mess of the truck. That's usual for me, for anybody who knows me. Um, so yeah, we just left Dollar General a couple minutes ago with some uh, ammunition. You'll see what I mean in a bit. It is a ridiculously warm, like 61, 62 degrees out today. Super excited for that. Um, so much better than this dreary stuff we've been having. Uh, so stick with me, we will be there in probably about 40 minutes or so and uh, say hi and get everything set up and catch some awesome footage. Set up. See you in a little bit. Guess what fun things we have to play with this time? Right here, we have our ammunition. If you're wondering why I'm saying ammunition when it comes to some Diet Coke and golf balls, that just means we have brought out our can cannon with, of course, our custom paint job. That gets attached to the lower to my AR. And then we have all sorts of fun. So, we're going to get that switched over. I'll probably put it on video I'm not sure if YouTube will allow it but we will see so let's get this switched over and let's shoot some stuff all right so the process of this is really simple we uh, bump out our pins a little bit so we can grab them from the other side poke them through just like that then this will come apart hopefully there we, there we go now seeing as we don't have a bolt carrier or a charging handle for this yet we're going to remove this pull your little charging handle lever there it'll pull back so far and you can kind of slide and pop this out pop that out set this aside and same process to get this back in there because it's a standardized style receiver for an AR but it's mounted a cannon so we'll slide this in, as you notice our two notches, slide it in and down, get in a little ways, take your bolt carrier, line her up, stuff her in there, she'll kind of fall right into place. Then, pop these back in, one, two, buckle my shoe, she is ready to go. Yeah, she looks so gorgeous, don't she? Put a high-rise scope mount on there with a El Chinizo red dot, but it works. Took it out a couple days ago and actually got it kind of lined in. We're going to double check it today and then hopefully we can get some awesome footage with it. Should show you that this also has the can, besides the can cannon, 
It also has a golf ball cannon attachment. We might not use this today, we shall see. For now, we just have to twist this off, pull it out. There's our golf ball barrel. And now we are set up, ready to go for the cans. This will be firing 5.56 caliber blank rounds. And inside of this tube, there is like a tube that uh, blocks you from putting in actual live rounds into the firearms so that way no catastrophic bad stuff happens. Um, and then the air pressure from these goes to launch can out way too fast and way too fun. So we'll get this locked and loaded up. Stick with me. Alright, we got our magazine in, our can of soda. I always recommend always put your round in there and then charge the bolt handle because you do not want your hands in front of the muzzle of this firearm when there's actually a round chambered in it, just like any other firearm. You never know what can happen. So we are loaded up, turn this side, I like the green. We know work. We did wear gloves because I'm not exactly sure the grade what would technically be the measurement equivalent of grainage for a can of soda, but it is a lot. We're used to shooting 150 grains out of our rifles, and this thing is probably a couple thousand grains. So the recoil from this is quite a lot, even though it's coming out with just a 5.56. Uh, so yeah, let's charge one up. See what she does. I think we're a little high. Let's try this again. And of course, blanks don't have enough to cycle it. So you gotta recycle it every time. Kind of single shot. A little high, but we got her. Heck yeah. Tell you what, can does pretty good damage to a milk jug. The Hawaiian punch jug kind of just veered off of it a little bit, but still cool anyway. She roughs up your shoulder pretty good, though. I tell you what, that is a very large grain projectile coming out of this thing. Um, I understand I'm a little guy, so it might be a little bit rougher for me, but let's try a couple more and then. Uh, we only have a couple rounds left of the blanks. I gotta get some more. So maybe we'll throw on the golf ball cannon and see what that does. All right, so here we are. We got the golf ball cannon attachment there. Golf ball, load one in. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this ghost because it launches them something fierce. So we're gonna aim down there at, uh, I don't know, Maybe one of them jugs. Let's see what happens.
a little high. Let's try it again. Correct kit. That was kind of cool. Just smoking out there a little bit. A lot of gases in there. A lot of gases. We're going to turn you up to the sky. We're going to launch one. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. We're going to send her over the trees. This thing is still smoking. Load one up. Air Pro. Up over the trees. Let's send her. Four. Sweet. Alright guys, we got one blank left. Unfortunately. That's okay. We're going to take off Go full attachment. And we're going to launch our last can of soda way up in the air, just like we did the, the go fall. And we're going to see how far this goes. Up here, I'm going to do a little bit higher. I swear this thing shoots further when you shoot it up in the air compared to straight, but. It's impressive nonetheless. Here we go. Up over. It absolutely just sends it. All right. So there she goes. She's clear. I absolutely love this thing. The lower is from uh, my Radical Firearms AR, and the upper, I believe I got this off from Gun Broker for about 170 bucks. Didn't cost a whole lot at all, um, you know, plus in the mount and the red dot. But you really don't need it. This is for, you know, just plinking fun purposes. There's no real use for it. But that's what makes it all the more fun. Um, so, fortunately, we are done with this. We're going to get this switch back around to the AR upper. So that way we can go back to using it for our other stuff. Maybe we'll take a couple shots with the AR. Just because it's out here. I took the scope off of it, but we still got the red dot. So let's see what happens. Alright, we got the AR back together. Like I said, I took the one big scope off of yeah, it was extremely useless, but I used it for deer hunting. Worked pretty well. Now I don't need it. We still got the red dot on there. We're going to take a shot or two at a steel target. Maybe get a close-up slow-mo of shooting a jug. And then we're only going to take a couple shots because I got something special for you in this. And then uh, I'll give you a preview before I make one of our next videos, which you're going to really want to see because this thing, even though this... AR is probably the cheapest one on the market. I have the most fun with it. So let's get our ear pro on, rack one in the chamber, and see where she shoots. Make sure my light still works. Yeah. All right. Going hot. Woo! A little bit sparky. Try that again. That's a lot. Let's go for the jug. I think she's good. Let's set some stuff up. We got a close up. We're gonna get a slow mo and see how explosive this really is. Hopefully, I don't get my camera all soaked. Oh well. Let's 
We was going to try and put a couple shots through that before it emptied out, but that emptied out quick. I hit all three shots. See how the slow-mo footage looked? But uh, we went through a couple rounds. I'm going to put the mag back in and show you something super cool. All right. Load her up. Mag in. Now, close her up. Now we got my safety, single shot, we have our other option, binary. I went and got the Franklin Arms, I believe that's the brand it was. Um, I went and got the Gold Edition binary trigger for my AR, and it is the coolest thing. So we are going to send a couple and see if we can get this to actually work right. Let's go. Light for help. Yeah, you ain't hitting shit. Woohoo! All clear. Safe. Stick around for next time. Alright guys, that's about what I brought for today. We had a little fun. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit that uh, subscribe button, like button, notification bell, uh, all that good stuff. So we can keep coming out here and doing a whole bunch more fun stuff. We got tons of videos. Uh, half prepped, about ready to go to send out. Uh, so stick with me. Until next time, we'll see you later.